Hello, I'd like to talk to you about uh, R5, R6, eye tracking, face tracking, focusing, and something that's really easy to do that makes it completely different in the way it operates. It goes from being very impractical to being extremely convenient, fast, and accurate. If you start out with, on your focusing, and you see these little arrows next to the focusing box and for intention on where you can go to, to move it with the joystick, that's the method that is very inconvenient to use. And to get rid of that, go to the menu, autofocus section, tab five, top line, initial servo autofocus point. Instead of auto, change that to one of the other two settings. I use the top one. I think you can use the middle one just as well. But I'm gonna use the top one. Now we go back to focusing. Now you see that the camera didn't choose anything to lock onto. I can still move the focus, focus point around where it's sitting at, but I usually leave it in the middle of the screen. Now I'm filming one, the back of one camera with another camera right now. I'm not set up to do this out of the camera like I should be. But you see that it's not set up on something. Well, half press the shutter button and it selected her eye. Well, if you don't want her eye, say you want the dad instead. Let go of the shutter button. Now we're back to nothing. Get it close to him, just even close. And you've got his eye. Well, say I want this eye over here instead. Get it close to that eye. Now, while I'm holding the shutter button, I can move that camera all around, recompose my picture. I'm actually filming a TV because nobody else home to point this at. You can recompose at will. And it'll stay on that eye. And now, all of a sudden, you want another picture of her. You're over here on her. You know, I let off the shutter button, pointed at her, and pushed the button. And when I let go, the focus point goes back to where I'd left it to start with. I don't bother with moving the focus point around like this with the joystick or touch and drag. I just leave it in the center of the screen where I can find it. When I want to target, aim at it, put half press, recompose it however you want to. There's that ant that's sticking out in the aisle over there that has her iPhone up or her iPad sticking out. You cut her off or it's on this side. Okay, let's recompose and you can move all around and it stays right there. And again, the difference in that is just this one menu choice. Autofocus menu, tab five, top line. Do not use auto if you want this behavior. That's it.